Hello, how's it going? I'd like to address uh, what I like to think are two of the most popular questions in the flat earth world, and they come from ball earthers or globe heads, globbers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they always have uh, the same questions, and so uh, I'd like to give uh, my own take on what the answers to those same questions are. First one they always ask is, what difference does it make if it's a globe or if it's flat? Well, what difference does it make if Santa Claus is real or if you actually have to go out and buy those fucking presents and work hard to earn that money? Hmm. Hey, here's something. Next time Christmas rolls around, just sit around and wait for fucking Santa Claus to bring you presents. I'm pretty sure if you're not 10 years old, you realize that he's not coming. It's your money. And you figured that out, right? So what if there was another secret, kind of like Santa, where they're stealing your money and showing you cartoons and CGI while they steal your money? Wouldn't that make a difference if it was a globe or if it was flat? Because they keep showing you cartoons of a globe. They show you CGI of a globe. They show you Hollywood trickery of a globe. They're stealing your fucking money. If it's flat, that begs the question, hey, what the hell have you been showing us this ball for all this time? What have you been doing with our money? Did you guys go to space? Is evolution actually real? Did you guys just make this shit up? See, these are the questions we need to be asking. There might be more land out there to be discovered. There might be a fucking firmament up there. We don't know. They've stolen our mind from us and stuck us on a cartoon ball. They stole your mind. They stole my mind. I just recently gained my mind back from being stolen. What do they have to gain by lying? They know what your mind is thinking. They've stolen it from you. What do they have to gain? They know what you believe is bullshit. That's something to gain. If you owned a hundred slaves and you told them they came from the purple spaghetti monster in the sky and that they'll get into purple spaghetti monster heaven if they serve you and be good slaves, and if they believe that, wouldn't that fucking benefit you? They basically stole our minds and enslaved us by showing us a picture of a ball. Said, so here's what you live on, it's a ball. And then they show us a different picture of a ball. And here's a different picture of a ball. And everyone's just like, yeah, that's the same place. It doesn't matter if the colors of the continents change. It doesn't matter if the color of the oceans change. It doesn't matter if the continents change sizes, change locations. Whenever I point out to people that the continents are changing sizes and locations, you know what they say? That's just the angle of the camera. All those pictures are taken with different cameras, and it's just the angle of the camera why they look different. The angle of the fucking camera shouldn't make the North American continent double in size. The angle of the camera shouldn't make the North American continent go from a green landscape to a fucking desert continent. You ever notice how clear these ball pictures are? Where are the fucking clouds? Every amateur video that we take, anytime you go up in a plane, you see a massive bunch of cloud cover. It's rare that you can see everything very clear. And it's funny, when NASA goes to space, it's so clear. The pictures of the Earth, they're just crystal clear. There's no clouds. There's very little cloud cover. And you can just see all the continents and right through to the blue ocean. But if you watch an amateur balloon video, or they go up 20, 30 miles high above the Earth, it's a flat horizon, and it's white, and you can't even see the Earth anymore. Once you get up that high, it just washes out. 
That's the thing. The higher you get, the less you see. The higher you get, the less you see. The farther away you get, the less you see. The farther away you get from a mountain, you just see a silhouette of a mountain. You don't see every little detail in that mountain. It's just a silhouette and it hazes out the same way the ground does. The ground hazes out the higher you get. It's a white haze. That's why in the amateur balloon videos of the flat earth, it's a white haze. You can't see it anymore. You're up too high. There is no picture of an edge or bullshit like that. You go up that high, you can't see down below. That's why they keep showing you fake pictures, because you can't see the earth down below. <laughs> it's a flat, white horizon. Go back and look at that, that jump that that guy did uh, at the, the edge of space. I forget, it's Felix, whatever his name was, when he does the jump at the edge of space. <laughs> when he opens the door, it's a flat, white horizon. When he jumps, you see this curve, and you see this big, massive land mass, and you don't see any ocean. Go back and watch that video. Felix, whatever the hell his name is, doing the, the jump at the edge of space, at the edge of space, space. When he opens the door to jump, you see a flat, white horizon. When he jumps, you see this ball curve, indicative of a fisheye lens. And here's how you know it's a fisheye. Everything in the curve and of the earth shown is a landmass, a brown desert looking landmass. The earth is supposedly 70% water, right? Oceans? And there are no oceans in that, in that ball. It's just a big glob of brown. And people always say, here Jake, here's proof. Here's proof it's a ball. Here's Felix, whatever the fuck his name is, jumping from the edge of space. And it's proof, man, it's a ball. And I have to repeat myself over and over. When he opens the door, it's a white, flat horizon. When an amateur balloon goes up, it's a flat, white horizon. There is no curve, man. There ain't no curve. And I'm tired of people saying there's a goddamn curve. You know how many people change their story about the curve? I'll argue with somebody in a thread and 10 people will jump against me and they'll all say different things about the curve. One person will say, I went on top of my roof and saw the curve, so you're stupid. Another person will say, I went on top of my building, uh, my apartment complex and I saw the curve. Another person will say, I went on top of the Empire State Building and saw the curve, so you're wrong, stupid. Another person will say they went up in a balloon and saw the curve. Another person will say they went up in a plane and saw the curve. That one's popular. I went on a plane and I saw the curvature of the earth, so therefore you're wrong. Actually, no you didn't. There is no curve. I've been on plenty of planes and there's no fucking curve. And if you think you see a curve, your window is slightly curved. There ain't no curve. You know how you can check? There's a measurement. There's a measurement to measure the curve. It's supposed to drop eight inches per mile and you have to square the mile. So the first mile, you should feel eight inches of curvature drop, or you should be able to measure eight inches of curvature drop. The second mile, now you have to square the mile. So you got two times two, which is four, times eight, which is 32. So that's 32 inches. The next one has to, the next mile has to drop. And this continues. And at 50 miles, we're at 1,667 feet of drop and curvature. We can see things 50 miles away. Check out the Chicago skyline. Google Chicago skyline mirage. S Chicago skyline mirage. They'll tell you what you're seeing is a fucking mirage. That's the Chicago skyline 50 miles away across Lake Michigan. That's no fucking mirage. That's your eyes seeing what's really there. They're explaining away what your eyes see. They want to tell you it's a mirage. Look up a superior mirage. It's an inverted 
image. You'll see a ship inverted over the top of a ship or a ship floating way above the ground. It'll look like a fucking mirage. Have you ever seen a mirage like water disappearing off in the distance? It looks like a mirage. The Chicago skyline <laughs> doesn't look like a mirage across Lake Michigan on a clear day. You can see it with your eyes. And you know what the glow birthers say? Refraction. It's refraction. Or another one, it's mirage. Everything's a mirage or a refraction, right? So you just throw away your eyes. Your eyes are wrong. And here's another one I'm fucking tired of. You can, you can see the curvature of the earth when the ships disappear over the horizon. Uh, no, when it disappears from your eyesight, you simply use a telescope and you can bring it back into view completely, whole mass and all. And you know what? They say you're lying. I say go to the fucking beach and take your telescope, watch a boat disappear with your eye, whip out your telescope and fucking look at it. I'm tired of the same old arguments. Boats over the horizon? Bullshit. Whip out your telescope and you'll see it. You went up on top of your house and saw the curvature. You went on a plane and saw the cur- No, you didn't. There is no curvature. Go try and fucking measure it. You have to measure it on water, okay? Try and measure it on a long canal. Try and measure it on sea. Use a laser level. Take a really, really long piece of rope. Do whatever you gotta do to try to measure this supposed curvature and film it. And then post it. And if your curvature's real, well then all us flat earthers will look stupid, huh? So show me your homegrown experiments, because our homegrown experiments, like the Bedford Level experiment, they show a flat earth every single time. There is no curvature. You know how I know? I tried to debunk the flat earth and I failed. That's how most of us get started. We try to debunk the flat earth and we fail. I'm tired of the same old fucking arguments. They're bullshit, man. People say, well, go look at the planets. The planets are, are spheres, so that means we're a sphere. No, whip out a telescope. I've got one. Whip out your telescope and look at Mars. It's a dot of light. It's an orange dot. And then when you look at a NASA image, it's this desert world with canyons and ice and craters and shit. But when you look at it through an amateur telescope, like a good amateur telescope, not one from fucking Walmart, like a good one, it's an orange dot. It's not a desert world with canyons and shit that they went to. There's no rover on Mars. <laughs> They're prepping us with movies like The Martian so they can steal our money on a fake trip to Mars. Just like they stole our money on a fake trip to the moon. We never went to the moon. There is no space. All the planets they're showing us are fucking CGI. There is no outer space to go to. The sun and the moon are real. The planets they show us are not real, man. Not the ones NASA shows us. Look at it through a telescope. Jupiter has like some lines on it, faint lines. When you look at it on a NASA image, it's got this red eyeball and all this gassy swirliness going on. It's fake, man. Saturn, you can see these little rings and it's just a faint image. It doesn't look like a gas ball world that they show you. Every image NASA shows of those huge detailed planets is a CGI fake. Use your eyes you were created with to look at them and decipher the bullshit. Better yet, go back and look at the lunar module, the original pictures of the lunar module. It's a piece of shit. Anyone can figure out NASA's a fraud if you use your eyes and a critical brain. If you look with your eyes and you just stare at NASA images, you will notice they're bullshit. They're fake. It's a grand illusion. And they've got answers to explain away the grand illusion. They've got an answer for everything. 
you don't see the stars in space uh, because blah, 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 it's too dim. Do they have an answer for that? You know what the real answer why you don't see stars in any of their images from space is because it's too hard to fake and any astronomer worth their salt would bust their ass. That's why you don't see stars in space is because it's too hard to fool. Once you leave Earth and you're somewhere else, the stars are going to be in different spots. Amateur astronomers would spot this from a mile away and bust their ass. So to get around this, they came up with an excuse that they don't have to show you stars because you just can't see them. That's a fucking good excuse, NASA. Another thing they did with the lunar module is they've updated the pictures to look better. If you go back and look at the 1969 lunar module, it looks like a piece of shit held together with gold tinfoil tape. You can see tinfoil literally on there. You can see, see like scotch tape and like curtain rods and shit. It's a concoction of shit. And then recently NASA has re-released some photos of a new lunar module that looks way better. Go back and check out the 1969 original photos of the lunar module and zoom in. Just zoom in and stare. Spend a few minutes just staring at the lunar module. Spend a few minutes staring at NASA's fake planets. If you use your eyes and your brain properly, with an open mind, you will find out the greatest truth man has ever known. Space is fake. There is no outer space. It's all a movie. And guess who's paying for it? Us taxpayers. The earth is flat. There is no curvature. Come up with some new arguments because your tired ass arguments aren't working. And it doesn't matter who you get to hire to co-op this flat earth movement. We will win. Hire Tila Tequila. Hire anybody you want to make us look crazy. When anyone goes out to measure that curve for themselves, they're going to find out it doesn't fucking exist. When anybody looks at that lunar module, and I'm going to see to it, they will. They're going to see it. It looks like a homeless tweaker's shelter. It did not land on the fucking moon. I am the flat earth asshole. And I'm gonna bring NASA down. And when NASA falls, evolution, Darwinism, space, all the fucking fake planets in the heliocentric model are coming down with it. So I'm gonna spend my time focusing on NASA in their fake ass moon landing. There's a bunch of generation of kids being born who never go back and look at it. I'm gonna see to it that they do. I'm gonna see to it that they look at that module. I'm gonna tell them to zoom in on it. I'm gonna tell them to share it with their friends. The younger generation is gonna find out space is not real. And next time NASA shows us some bullshit and says, hey, we're going to Mars. We can all stand on our own two feet and say, fuck you, you're not going to Mars, you're stealing our money, and we don't believe you anymore. This is the Flat Earth Asshole signing out. <laughs>